Hey everyone, this is Mike with Prehistoric Channel, and I'm very excited to be doing this movie review. Jurassic World is finally in movie theaters. It's been 14 years since the last movie, and I myself, along with millions of others, have been waiting since Thanksgiving of 2014 for this movie to finally debut. It did last night, I had a chance to see it, and I can honestly say it lived up to every expectation that I had for it. That's all I can ask for in a movie is from the beginning to the end. This movie thoroughly entertained me, and I'll leave it at that. Without further ado, to the movie review. The opening scene in Jurassic World begins with the gates to the park opening, and I like it. I'm just going to leave it at that. I thought it was very powerful. The music was there, but I'm already starting to read some commentary on the internet about how people would have you know, hoped and wished for a panoramic view of, of dinosaurs. You know, kind of like that image and that view that we get from the 93 movie with the Brachiosaur. Probably one of the most powerful scenes in all of movie history, if you ask me. But I thought for Jurassic World, I liked the scene of the gates opening and the panoramic of the whole park and the buildings because it really hits home the idea that John Hammond's creation is finally open. You know, they had been pitching to us since Thanksgiving that the park is open June 12, 2015, so... I liked it. I thought it really hit home that uh, point that the park is open. Moving to the characters, I like the characters. Were they as genius as the original Jurassic Park? No. But I think that would have been tough to pull that off. Jeff Goldblum, Sam Neill, and the rest of the cast just did an unbelievable job. So it's really hard to compare this cast to that cast. But this is a monster movie at its heart. I really encourage everyone to view it as that. Judge it on its own. Don't compare it to Jurassic Park because you'll probably be disappointed if you do. It's a monster movie. I think it's a fantastic monster movie, a great summer blockbuster, something that you would really hope for when you go to the theater, spend your hard-earned dollars in the summer. Um, once again, I thought the characters could definitely uh, resemble comic book characters. That's what I've been reading a little bit of, and I believe that that's true. I, I think some of the characters did have those qualities. Chris Pratt did seem like the type of macho guy that you would expect to see in a comic book series. Bryce Dallas Howard, she also seemed like the anal, you know, accountant type, and she's very detail-oriented, and, and everything is an asset to her. They're not dinosaurs, they're just assets on a spreadsheet. So I thought that they were good for the, for the movie, but um, I'm already starting to see some of the commentary about how the, the characters were one-dimensional and stilt-like, so I can see where that comparison comes. Um, let me just say that I love the Indominus Rex. Um, I loved it for what it was. It was this huge, menacing thing, and it terrorized the entire park. But with that said, it was really, really good to see the original T-Rex, see that she's still alive and well. Um, you know, the Velociraptor scenes, I knew that there would be some speculation on that in that they help Chris Pratt in this movie. I know that that also lends itself to, you know, the idea that this is once again a comic book and everything's kind of over the top and cheesy, but they were still vicious as ever. And extremely terrifying, especially, you know, there's some scenes when one of them attacks Bryce Dallas Howard in the truck. Um, that scared the living hell out of me. So bravo to them on that. I think the Raptors were still as cunning and in, as intelligent as ever. And they really delivered a powerful hit to this movie. Um, some of the new dinosaurs I enjoyed seeing, actually it's not a dinosaur, but I really enjoyed seeing Mosasaurus. That scene was unreal with the great white shark emerging from the water to, to take hold of the great white shark and pull it back down into the depths. I really enjoyed that. All in all, I think I would give this movie a B plus. It lived up to what I would expect it to. Um, I had hoped for eight months that it would really be a fun movie, you know, something that you can go see with your whole family and enjoy. And once again, I thought it was great. Let me know in the comments section below what you think. Um, some of your hopes for the movies. Let me know what you thought went bad as well. Anything is welcome. And once again, thanks for listening.